So, like, and then it came out. And then, it came and out then for the eventually, DS. as the years dwindled on, the PlayStation Three started to take over. Originally, it was probably the Wii. I'd imagine. Well, <coughs> everyone was going cock out for the Wii. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, the PS Three was starting to crush in sales, and well, now especially the Three Sixty, you can't you can't get it unless you go to like a specialty store sort of thing in like Japan. You want a 360? You gotta like ask for it. Stupid fly bug thing. <coughs> Sorry. You gotta specifically ask for it if you want it. it. That's just so ridiculous. And the Xbox One, I don't know. Like, I don't know how the Japanese. Really I just imagine like shit. A Japanese man in, like in a trench coat, like a really long one. Yeah. And you're walking down a dark alley. He walks up to you. He's like, Hey man, you want an Xbox 360? And then like he like reveals his like he like opens his jacket. And there's like one 360 just chilling there. Kind of did that with like. Spanish accent. I know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> they're, they're all the same. <laughs> they're not American. They're all the same. Hey, man. Do you want a 360? But yeah, no. It's, I don't know. Right now, it just seems so embarrassing for Microsoft. They're not, they're not doing so well before their console comes out. I'm just saying, between the, uh, between the OIA beating it out right now with their pre-orders and stuff, and the fact that they had so much bad PR and they broke so much trust. This is just seems to be boy, just doing so much bad for them right now. The, I don't know. If, what can they do to possibly recover at the moment? Well, they already did what they could possibly do to recover. Now they're going to have to see how it works. They reversed the DRM stuff. Yeah, they're just going to have to see and how it works now. For some reason, some people seem to think that no one's talking bad about Microsoft since they reversed the stuff. That's a lie. There's people who they like... Nothing should have had it been reversed. They should have just kept moving forward, but they're like, you know what, money and DRM, let's do it. And then people were like, hell no. There, and there's that one guy who's defending Microsoft, he's like, yeah, go Microsoft. <laughs> but no, you don't fucking, they, they are always online, the cloud. Come on, I still find it kind of funny that the cloud is null and void. For you know what, they, you what, know what they could have? What do you mean by that? The cloud? No. I told about, it has to be online all the time to use the cloud, right? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't now. You can still use the cloud. Yeah, I was gonna say like maybe maybe they'll make yeah, it like sure, an option you if you keep <laughs> if you keep your console. You connected. can still use it, but then it becomes it's still a fucking joke. They're like bragging how like. Well, the point I think the point he's trying to make, and I might be wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The the point of it always being online is that so you can always get the backing of the cloud. What yeah. my you remember? Okay, like like I use an example of Dead Rising Three. What if they're like in order to get like more zombies on the screen, right? They're like we use the cloud. Yeah. Right for like you said for processing power from the console, yeah. so it doesn't have to work as hard. But it has to be online all the time. But, but now it doesn't. Drop. You see my point? Yeah, but they had it. So no, don't get me. Okay, let me <clears throat> let me reiterate. But yeah, I think they, uh, the cloud's gonna the cloud the cloud the whole cloud thing's gonna work out eventually completely. It's it, that's the future. It's gone. But the way Microsoft was making it sound, and you guys should watch the uh, Angry Joe interview actually with Nadir Nelson he had because like at one point Nelson was like well no Joe was like um I, I know you guys can like reverse the DRM stuff you know and Nadir Nelson goes up takes the microphone from him and he says oh you're on the development team you know like the way he was making it I mean he was defending the system but he was like sounding like a total asshole about it you know mm-hmm. like he didn't have to be like that about it if he wanted to defend it but they did they reversed it so yeah it, it's a joke it's just a big old joke. You want you want to say, like, the cloud's going to make the games better? Are you serious? And then there's the fact, um, I forgot which Microsoft executive Whoa, said this, yep. but they're like, Gr- specs don't matter. Right? They're like, specs don't matter. Oh, he was, he was upset because the PS3. Yeah, the PS4, the PS4 is destroying. Yeah. It's destroying right now. And he just said he just said it had a bucket. Yeah, pretty much. See, Nintendo can get away with it. They can say specs don't matter. Well, they can also back that, that, back that claim up. Yeah, exactly, with their games. Microsoft... We got Zelda Wind Waker! It's well, see, Microsoft can't back it up. You know why? Because the games that... No one wants sorry, I just... Wow, he's not amused. Look at the... Look at all the fucks he does not... Oh, 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 wow, yeah. Sonic... Okay. Does, wow, good you have been on video. <laughs> wow, Sonic... Look at all the fucks he oh, did okay, not do. Now did you know that? <laughs> Did you do oh, that on purpose? No, I didn't know what the that. fuck happened. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, Fred, but Sonic could not give yeah, any more no, fucks. 
Holy Someone, someone screamed, gotta go fast, and he looked at the screen and was like, ready? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, those Microsoft execs saying, like... Yeah, no one wants to spe- waste the time, Ted. HD, specs right? don't matter. <laughs> it, it's just such a joke, because the games that they're showing off, the PlayStation 4 could run, probably, as well. I would hope so. They're both running off because, the same architecture. Well, apparently, yeah, that, and apparently the, the PS4 has a better GPU. Ecosystem. Ecosystem, I'm not a fish. Anyway... I, like I don't know how this whole development thing goes with these consoles, but I have a weird feeling that like when the when Sony like kind of like when something of Sony leaked yeah. for the console, like Microsoft is like falls like shortly behind and just kind of try to get the same specs out. I don't like I know it's weird to say, but like because I would imagine I, man. I, w- I would imagine like you know this shit's like this shit's like years in the making because apparently they started working on the PS4 in uh, 2008 apparently. But like, oh, yeah, the, what, yeah. what are the chances that like they both just decided to go with the. Uh, what was it? The uh, X eighty three, whatever is it uh, architecture. The best thing out on like the market. Well, it's like a, it's pretty much like running it off a PC. That's why. They're, yeah, that's exactly. why they're using it. So I guess. Well, you. you it's know, a, I just find it weird that like beforehand it was like the three hundred and sixty had its own thing, and then the PS the PS three had its own thing, which was you know self processing, and now they're all just like you know what? Well, there was computers. there was also like a, a wider variety of things they were trying out with like the whole Blu ray and the HD DVD. So. You know, Microsoft's so lucky they didn't choose that as their main. Yeah, but I'm just they, saying they there was like screwed. more of a option. I don't know. Now I don't. I don't you don't really see. There's like one well, standard. Remember, apparently Sony themselves went to developers, talked to them, and asked them, "What do you want? What do you want us to put into what?" And they wanted an easier way to just program. They don't want like individual stuff for this and that. They want like. Just a streamlined way to program. So I know, uh, you know, since it's a streamlined way of programming, do they, like, I would imagine you still send out developer kits, but, like, can't just anyone with a computer, like, develop for it if they want to? Well, yeah, that's with the indie games, right? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, like, you don't need a developer's kit anymore unless the, uh, unless you ask for it, I would imagine. I would imagine they give developer kits out to bigger studios. You know? Like, no, not, well, they give it to Naughty Dog, obviously. Nope. Naughty Dog, um, uh, Sucker Punch. Naughty Dog, you made us millions of dollars. Get out. Yeah, imagine they just dropped Naughty Dog. Anyway, you know, I'd imagine they give developer kits to them to specifically use the PlayStation 4, because those indie games aren't going to utilize the PS4. They're running off of their own stuff, not like the PlayStation 4s, whatever the hell they use on the PS4. Yeah. The X83 architecture? Or is it X86? I don't know. I think it's 86. Some computer stuff. 64, 86 or some shit like that. Well, remember what that Mark guy said? I mean, he gave that whole speech. Oh, you didn't watch it. I know. I finished watching it, you insensitive asshole. I just watch it already. Because I gotta find that link again, and it's on YouTube most likely. I forgot his name. I actually forgot his name. Mark. He's the guy who's gonna break your family if you don't buy PS4. I don't know why I just thought about this, but I thought back to the the infamous second son guy. Yeah. That guy who was really sad. <laughs> why? He posted that link, that gif where he's just like, when I was young. Oh. Oh, <laughs> murdered, murdered my mom and I was hiding under the bed. So, infamous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was a really weird gif. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it goes with the way he looks. I don't. <laughs> he does look pretty depressed. So, right now, again, as it still stands, and it hasn't changed at the, at the time of this recording, which is July fifth. Come on, man. We just saw the fireworks yesterday. Whatever. All five minutes of them. Come on. <laughs> July fifth. It's almost ten o'clock. It was nine fifty. This video is probably not gonna go up till like July thirtieth. So don't get your hopes up. No, that's, that's why I'm I'm saying it now. So. It's about it's 9:53, July 5th, 2013, and I don't think my predictions are going to be wrong. <coughs> Still, that the PlayStation 4 is going to be uh, the dominant console. The Wii U is going to be the side thing. Oh, nice. Oh, so what are you doing? To this I, <laughs> I guess one other thing we could talk about. Oh no, Green! <laughs> yeah. One other thing we could talk about, of course, is Nintendo again. Nintendo. I just got a Wii U, guys. With no games. How's that feel? Because well, Nintendo one, has no games. Game. I got Nintendo Land because I got the deluxe bundle. I still don't understand how that's. It took about two hours for it to download and update the damn update. It's <laughs> <laughs> the damn 
Update the update. The power of the power. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was the most fun I've ever had with a console in so long. I don't care what people say. The PS3's the updates were not that long. Well, it took you two hours to turn the thing on, so... It did. That guy's gonna get you. Oh, yeah, you lost your Wii, jerk. And I lost my... Yeah, yeah I, was, I was looking for my Wii. I forgot where I put it, because I really don't care for the thing, so I just... Oh, what the fuck? Anyway. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh. Um... As it still stands right now, Nintendo's really got nothing until next year. Yeah, Unfortunately. Smash Brothers. That anyone wants to really play, like Mario Kart 8, Smash Brothers, stuff like that. Unfortunately. I mean, you got, like, a, I think we went over this. They got Pikmin 3 this year, Wonderful 101, and Bayonetta 2. How about the new Luigi Brothers? Who cares? The, the expansion it's just an on, update. The update for New Super Mario Brothers. It's actually, like, each, apparently each level is, like, a smaller version. And it's $30. Yes, but at the same time... $60, like, Nintendo Land. Hey, man, that Nintendo Land that guy was getting ready to give me with the used deluxe, if I got the used deluxe, was only $17.99. That's a more accurate price than that. Right. Here, Why here's, does it even cost any money? Here's the, Why uh, isn't it just installed on the Wii U? Here's a kind of funny story. So, when I went to go buy the deluxe, the guy said he had a used one. So I was like, you know what, I'll take a used one, whatever, I don't care. He brings it out, and he tells me how they just got it in for trade. So, like, you know law pretty much is like you can't when you someone trade something in you gotta wait a few days because it might be stolen or whatever so whatever he goes to scan it and it rings up for ten thousand six hundred and sixty two dollars and i was like whoa and he was like oh they use it as a placeholder so they don't sell it that's an extreme stupid number just saying oh okay that just starts to, like some some guys like <laughs> take more money and he's like pulls out his wallet with like nothing but an endless flash fl flash flow cash flow and he's like yeah here Oh! Sonic's got that cash flow. He does. He's got all the rings and all the money. All so, the so, yeah, I mean, uh, besides the handheld thing, Nintendo doesn't really have much of a Wii U console. Smash Bros. Pro. What part of that is going to Until next year! Smash Bros. is going to carry this console over, like, until Nintendo dies. <laughs> I guess. What are they. Nintendo, like, and Sakurai are going to release Smash Bros. and, like, just put everything down. I guess speaking of soccer, I, <laughs> the thing I was talking about before, I, I forgot uh, the exact wording, but soccer I was calling um, fighting game, like people who play fighting games competitively. Why like, is it this thing? It's for Sonic CD. So, all the time. Um, he was calling a competitive hardcore fighting game fans and people who play competitively, of course, uh, hobbyists, I believe the word was. As in, like, there's just, it's like a passing thing for them, playing competitive fighting games. Hey man, they keep those games alive for a long ass time. You know why I don't consider Sakurai's opinion when it comes to competitive fighting games? This is the man who put tripping in Brawl. It was funny the first time. <laughs> when we first put that game in. No, we went to that GameStop tournament oh, for Brawl. Yeah, yeah. And Edison took two steps and Samus tripped. It was funny. And then he cursed when there was a bunch of little kids around. And those kids were like, Mommy, what yeah, the fuck this mean? is the guy who put the tripping in his game because he was like, I don't want it to be competitive. That was stupid. He doesn't want it to be competitive. Like, that was, the main, that was the main thing holding Brawl back was the whole tripping thing, if I remember correctly. Nothing, nothing held Brawl back, please. No, don't even, look, don't, competitive? No, don't, don't even look at me like that, because the fans stepped in and were like, we got this. Project yeah, the fans in. did. <laughs> and then Brawl Plus. You're right, no, you're right, the fans did, not Nintendo, that's the point. I know. Nintendo and Sakurai, they, they, didn't, they don't want Brawl to be competitive. What were they, gonna do? they wanted to be a party. We were going to release a patch, but it, uh, it was more than 512 megabytes. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. Like, what is, what is their problem with it becoming competitive? Do they feel like... Oh, wait. I remember. I heard this a while ago. They thought it wasn't going to be as fun for people anymore if it was too competitive. Well, That's right. The people you play Brawl with are going to be your friends or the people lucky enough to get your friend code. And when I say lucky enough, I mean people who are dumb enough to go online, <laughs> which was me for, for a very small amount of time. This is a game where, like... There like, how can it ruin it for people? I don't understand. You're right. There is a competitive <laughs> scene for Smash. There's a competitive scene for everything. But you do realize it's completely the fans. Nintendo does not care. Nintendo doesn't care that people... This makes me mad. What? 
No, what you said before about how he uh, he thought the competitiveness ruined it for well, people. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what I believe I heard the last time. If that's true, that's dumb. I'm just... Would you not believe it? I... It's Sakurai and I'm Nintendo, saying, who... especially Sakurai. He, I guess he really doesn't like competitive. Like, he doesn't really want everything to be competitive. I can see where he's coming from. He wants everything to just be fun and fair and stuff. And but... gay. But look what the fans did. They had to hack the game in order to make it more competitive. And they made it better. I guess. I don't, I don't know. Oh! Why would you do that for me? I don't know. I kind of like... I was scared.